So this last week, Tana made a very small change to how it captures voice notes on the web that makes it so much easier to capture your thoughts get them into Tana and ready to be worked on. Let me show you how. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to create mind like water workflows using Tana. So today I want to show you three voice to Tana capture workflows that utilize Tana's new in node capture feature that helps you get things out of your head, unravel your brain, get them organized in Tana where they need to be so that you can start working on them. So I rarely used voice before I used Tana. I always thought it felt like a really clunky process. Obviously capturing voice is really easy, but then when it comes to using those voice captures, I always found it hard. You either have to listen back to your voice, which nobody wants to do, or you have to use a transcription service and then get those notes and the transcriptions into your notes app and then use them and it just doesn't flow. But with Tana, the process is so smooth. Being able to just hit record, have it transcribed for you, and then even run commands over those transcriptions means that your voice recordings are even more useful than ever. Now, before we get into the actual workflows, I know what you're thinking, Ev, I hate recording my voice. I feel awkward, I clam up, and I do not want to listen to myself back. I get it. I was the same. I felt it was a really awkward way to capture things out of my brain. I always have felt like I'm much better at writing things down and processing them while I'm writing. But voice, once you get over the awkwardness, is actually so much faster than writing. Writing still has a place. It still has a place for processing your thinking. But voice is actually so easy once you get over the awkwardness. So here are three tips to get comfortable speaking in Tatana. Number one, treat it like you're talking to a friend. So just like you might pick up the phone and just start having a conversation or talking through something with a colleague, just treat it exactly the same. Number two, don't worry about editing yourself, sounding eloquent or needing to have all your thoughts together before you start speaking. Just start talking and let Tana and AI and the commands do the rest. Number three is just start small. I just started by recording really short voice memos. If I thought of something, I would record it and then press stop. You don't have to record long monologues or all of this stuff. You just have to get started doing something. So hopefully I've convinced you that voice is a really great way to get things out of your head. So let's dive in to the three workflows that are going to help you unravel your thoughts, get things into Tana fast and get working quickly. So the first workflow that I want to show you is how I use voice to stop procrastinating on my tasks. So there's nothing worse than sitting down, looking at a task, ready to go and thinking, what the heck was I thinking when I wrote this? Like, what am I even supposed to be doing? And it's one of the biggest reasons that I procrastinate on tasks. So what I've started doing is at the beginning of every week, looking through my task list and just recording a really vo short voice message to myself saying why this task needs to be done, what needs to get done on it. Is there any information that I can give to my future self to help me out? So what I do is each of my tasks, I do this at the beginning of the week, I go in and I just start recording a little note to myself about what I need to do, um, any, any information that I need or anything that I think I'm going to need or my future self is going to need when I actually do this task. So all you have to do is press command K and then capture voice and then start talking. Okay, I need to finalize these slides. There's a couple of slides that I still don't have images for that I need to find some images. There's a couple of slides that I need to make sure I, um, uh, I need to make sure that I structure a little bit better. And then I just wanna do a final draw. Uh, then I wanna do a final run through of everything that, uh, no, I wanna do a final run through of all of the slides just to make sure everything works and then I'm ready to film. And so once you've done that and you can, this is literally live and I am very awkward still talking into Tana, then you just go command capture and stop voice and your audio is captured right in line. Now this is a game changer for me because uh, if I'm capturing something in a node, I expect it to show up in a node. And so I don't have to go to the inbox and find it. It's right here and I can grab it. All I have to do is press transcribe. And so as you can see, 
uh, it gives me just the transcript. And all I do is come up here and I have a command that is called task notes to my future self. And when I run that, it's going to give me a list of all of the steps that I mentioned. And also it's going to prompt me if I forgot anything or left anything out or, or had any kind of blind spots when it came to kind of summarizing what I need to do on this task. So uh, if you see here, we've got all the next steps, finalize slides for presentation, find the images for the missing slides, structure the slides for better flow, do a final run through. If I was doing this for real, I would have the presentation with me and I'd just go through and I would say, uh, slide three needs this, slide four needs that, slide five needs that. So get really specific on it. Um, I find that just helps me um, in the future. And then it's also given me some additional steps. So practice it, make any necessary edits, set up film equipment, have a backup plan, schedule a time. Um, none of those are really uh, hitting the mark for me. Uh, so I'm gonna delete them. And so how this command actually works is it's just a simple AI command. So all I did was set up a, a command node called task notes to my future self. And then I set up an AI command with this particular prompt. You're my assistant. I'm gonna provide you with a transcript. I've recorded for what I need to do to get started on a project or task. I want you to analyze it and summarize it into bullet points with all the steps I need to do. List those under a heading called next steps and then look for any blind spots and list those under additional steps. And that's as simple as this workflow gets. I speak into Tana what I need to do and then Tana AI commands takes that and puts it into a list that actually makes sense and that also helps me out with maybe some things that I've forgotten. It's really simple and it helps me a lot. Now, if you're not familiar with Tana AI or you haven't used it yet, I highly recommend it. I remember when it first came out and I thought, oh no, that's gonna to be too complicated for me. But as soon as I got in and actually started using it, I found it so useful and easy. So I created a video called Tana AI Made Easy, and I'm going to link it up above if you wanna check it out. Um, if you're new to using Tana in AI, I highly recommend watching it. So whether you have ideas for content, your daughter's fifth birthday, or some kind of knowledge that you just wanna get out of your head and get clear on, this workflow is going to work for you. So ideas never really come fully formed out of our head. And so I found the best way to actually unravel what's going on in my brain is to talk it out. Just like you would talk something out with a friend or a colleague, it's like talking it out with Tana. And uh, the best thing about it is that you can kind of just have the worst brain dump and the AI command is gonna clean all of that up and make it look like you had the best brain dump in the world. So I use this workflow a lot in my actual Spark inbox, which is where all of my highlights come into for everything that I'm reading, consuming, listening, watching, everything. So all of these have already have kind of a highlight from something that I've highlighted in that book or article and a small breadcrumb note. And so what I like to do is kind of come in and start recording uh, and, and kind of looking through what I've already got and the notes I've already got and just trying to kind of continue on um, with that. So uh, I find this workflow really easy because now I can just record in Node. So I just come in here and go Command K and then Capture Voice. That's gonna bring the voice capture up. And then I literally just start kind of reading and like uh, talking about what, um, or what's important to me um, or what stood out to me in this note, okay? So there's a couple of things that stood out to me here. One um, about um, productivity uh, kind of being a menu of options. I like that. Um, and kind of a set of parts for designing your own way of working. So kind of like this idea of like modular um, productive advice or modular productivity tools. Um, and, uh, and that's it, that, that's my notes. So now we're just gonna go stop and we're gonna let those notes process. Now, the great thing about that particular capture was that most of it was pretty clear. Sometimes it's really not clear and it takes me a long time to kind of like really work out what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to get out of my brain. That one was particularly good. And so now all I have to do is run my command that is called clear up my brain dump. And this is a fun little command that just takes 
everything that I've kind of, you know, dumped out on the page and organizes it in a way that actually makes sense. And so you can see that each of the things I talked about is now kind of in a succinct bullet point, makes sense and sounds actually like what I wanted to say. And so from here, I can take any one of these and I can work with it. I can write more things on it. I could even, you know, zoom in to any one of these and keep talking more about it. But mostly I take these and then I start to write. So this is another really simple command in that all that we need to ask it to do is to say, you're my assistant. I'm going to give you a raw brain dump. You're going to analyze it, clean it up and present it to me in simple bullet points. That makes sense. And so this is just such a great way to be able to speak things out, kind of like word vomit and have Tana and I clean that up for you and make it really usable so that you can just get working on it straight away. So the final workflow that I want to show you is one that helps me review what happened today and get ready for the next day. Now, I hear people say constantly that you should prepare for your day the night before. But honestly, when I get to the end of my day, I'm pretty pooped. Like there is no more headspace to try and organize or do anything like that. And so traditionally, I've really failed at the preparing the night before. But what I've been doing instead now is actually just talking through my day and using voice to actually do the heavy lifting for me so that it makes it easier. All right, so with this third one, what I do is that at the end of the day, I basically go through my day page and I will talk through things like what worked, what didn't, and um, I'll look through my energy levels, I will look through uh, my focus sessions and kind of just talk through why I think things worked or didn't. I talk through all of my tasks. How did that go? Did I finish it? Is there anything I need to follow up with it? And so what I do is I just run my review my day command over the node. And what I end up with is this. So I have a little summary of my day, um, which just comes from stuff that I talked out. So then you've got, um, it's given me some tasks that I need to add to my list. So follow up Gerald about updating a, a website, follow up Mighty Networks, consider changing the timings of the meeting. So those are all things that I mentioned in the particular recording. And then it lists kind of all tomorrow's tasks and events, coaching calls back to back, uh, in between calls, follow up on any pending tasks and emails, take breaks, prioritize tasks, check in with the team, review and update the task list for the following day. And it's a really, really simple command. All I do is uh, if we have a look here, I just say, you're my assistant. I'm going to do a transcript of my day. I want you to do three things. Summarize how my day went, uh, then list any tasks that I mentioned, and then finally uh, list everything that I mentioned that I need to do tomorrow. And the best thing about the voice workflows and getting those straight into Tana is that these are now all listed and I can just put a task super tag on anything and I know I can do that tomorrow and it's ready to go and it's in my day page for tomorrow and it's such a quick way to review my day and get ready for the next day. And the beauty of using Tana voice combined with Tana AI commands means that you're not just offloading your thoughts and then getting them into Tana, but you're actually taking it one step further. You're unraveling those thoughts. You're organizing those thoughts. You're getting those thoughts ready so that you can do the next part of that work. And I think that is what makes these voice workflows for me so special and so magical and feels like they're just a, an extension of me. So I hope this video was super helpful in showing you what voice can do to get things out of your head fast into Tana and ready to work on. And remember, voice feels awkward at first, but the more you do it, the more you will fall in love with it. Now, if you liked this video, you might also like my other video that I made on Tana's mobile app called Tana Capture. It also has some really fun workflows to help you get things out of your head quickly and into Tana. And as always, if you want more Tana tips and workflows like this, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy voice capturing.